Good morning, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day, and welcome back aboard the Disney Fantasy. Now, today is day four, which is a port day. I did vlog day one, which I hope you guys have seen by now, but I decided not to vlog day two and day three, which were both sea days and let me tell you guys those two days were absolutely beautiful i had so much fun we both feel so relaxed i have so many stories that i want to tell you guys from those two days but i will get to that later on in the video but we woke up this morning and we had an awesome couples massage up at sense of spa i have some footage i'm going to go ahead and put it in right now we just finished our amazing couples massage and somehow we got the couples villa with our own private balcony with a spa look at this view what the heck how beautiful my oh my and then we have some lounge chairs. This is awesome. Some more chairs. And then we have a private shower. And this is where we got our treatments at. Oh man, that spa treatment was awesome. I highly recommend if you cruise on Disney, do a massage, you will thank me later. But we have a jam-packed day, so much is going on. We may get off the ship today, we are docked here in Tortula, which is the British Virgin Islands, I hope I said that right, forgive me if I did not. We may get off and then tomorrow we have St. Thomas, we do have a really fun excursion planned for tomorrow. Also tonight is Pirate Night, so we are very excited about that because we've never experienced a Pirate Night. But we have a lot to get to, but now we need to go have some lunch. I hope you guys are ready because we are. Let's go do this. Look at our porthole inside of our room. This is a live view from the front of the ship. Look how pretty that view is. Also, when we made it back to our room from getting our massage this morning, our stateroom host left us our pirate bandanas for pirate night. We had told each other, when possible, always try to take the stairs just for cardio. You gotta love and appreciate port days because the ship tends to be pretty empty. I mean, there's still people around, but not like sea days. We're here because we're gonna be having lunch here inside of the Royal Court. It opens at noon. We have about 18 more minutes to go. Here's a quick look at the lunch menu. You have your specialty drinks, soups, salads, burgers, which I'm actually in the mood for right now, small plates, pasta, desserts. Ooh, apple strudel. Hey babe, they have a citrus almond cake. Mm, that sounds you pretty You may good. like that. Yeah. Since we still have some time before lunch, we came up to deck five because I believe there's Bippity Boppity Boutique right here. Look at this chandelier. I'm in love with the hidden Mickeys. And then we have a little lounge over here. What a view. Kind of looks like somebody may get married or something like that. There's a podium set up and a few chairs and a microphone. Yes, this is Bippity Boppity Boutique. So this is nice to have on board. They are open today from 9 a.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. I would try to go in to film for you guys, but I just looked. There are people inside getting treatments right now. And if you do need something to do to kind of kill some time, they do offer a midship detective agency here, which is kind of like a fun scavenger hunt around the ship. Also up here on deck five, you can find the Port Adventures booth so if you need to plan any kind of excursions they have you covered also babe look pocahontas, pocahontas your favorite yep. more hidden mickeys we have a few on the wall and we have a few on the carpet something else you can find on deck five it's a small world nursery so if you have little ones or little nuggets they have you covered here we get to check out the ocean air club which is a place you can bring the kids drop them off so you can go have adult time but look how you can wash your hands. It does it for you. Just stick them in? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we need 
want to be that long. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm about to hit my head. <laughs> the ceiling is uh, kind of short and I'm kind of tall. Let's go check out Andy's room first. They also have some movies playing. If you guys did not know, Toy Story is my favorite Disney movie ever. Well, Pixar too, but Disney in general. There's Mr. Potato Head, Ham, Slinky. Oh, they're also playing the same movie. What is this, Brave? There's the Mickey Watch. Also the wallpaper. This is Andy's room. Looks like you can draw. Buzz Lightyear. Rex. Some toys you can play with. Oh. Nice. There's some more toys over here in this toy chest. Looks like a ton of Mr. Potato Heads. This floor is interactive. Look at that. Why are we having so much fun in here? <laughs> we are playing another game where we try to catch the bugs. <laughs> oh, I got the dragonfly. It was worth 100 points. About to walk through the Marvel area. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Are we in the Sanctum? Is that the Tesseract? Black Panther. Ant-Man. They have a game in here called Doctor Strange's Dark Dimension Defense Class. I bet you Doctor Strange will come out from here to do a little meet and greet with the kiddos. Where's the dark hold? Is it here? Is it missing like in the movie? Wow, this place is called Pixie Hollow. There's Tinkerbell right there. The seats are like little mushrooms. Oh yeah, little mushroom seats. Looks like this is a place where the kiddos can come to do some art. No way. They have an entire Star Wars area with games. What is this? If I was a kid, I would love this. I mean, even as an adult, I kind of love this. There's all kinds of fun stuff to do to keep the kiddos entertained. You also have restrooms over there for them. There's BB-8. Hello, BB-8. It is now lunchtime. We are back inside of Royal Court. We have our same server, which we are very excited about. The menu looks good. We have both not eaten all day. We skipped breakfast. So we are both looking forward to this meal a lot. Guys, this is our awesome server. Thank you so much for taking care of us. <laughs> My pleasure. Great service, <laughs> exceptional. Now, Royal Court is a different option for lunch and the hours are from noon until 1.30 and then you also have cabanas every single day from 11.45 until two o'clock p.m. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I did lower the exposure, but it is pouring outside. Look at that. We can barely see the mountains. Starting off our lunch with beef skewers. It also came with like a cucumber sauce and a peanut sauce. I really enjoyed the beef skewers. Bianca got the same thing. I really enjoyed the skewers more with the peanut sauce. And then the cucumber is not a sauce. It's actually a cucumber salad, has a little spice in it. I really enjoyed the combo. Next up, myself and Bianca, we got the Cobb salad. I got mine with turkey, Bianca got hers with chicken, and then Bianca did not get a main entree, but I did. I got the cheeseburger. Look, another hit of Mickey out of ketchup. Just finished lunch. It was pretty good. The Cobb salad was amazing. I do highly recommend that. The burger was okay, but again, the service is great. But now, it's dessert time. Finally, for dessert, we both got the apple strudel with vanilla ice cream. Yum. Dessert was really good, but now since we're all done with lunch, I think we are going to head up to deck 11 just to look at the view and then figure out what exactly we're doing today because as of right now, we are still unsure. And that's okay because you're on vacation. All right then, we have made it back out to deck 12. There's the aqua duck right there. And look at this beautiful view. My, oh my. Absolutely stunning. Oh yes, Moana is playing on Funnel Vision. Another change of plans. We decided to come back to the room to change into our bathing suits because we want to go on the aqua duck, maybe some hot tub time, maybe go back to the rainforest room. 
I don't know, and then we need to get a workout in because tonight is all about pirate night. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the GoPro. And here we go. The Aqua Duck only has a 10 minute wait. Here's the story of the Aqua Duck. This ride will surely ruffle your feathers. Donald's nephews built the slide and uncle wanted the first ride. They were worried he'd get stuck, but he sailed like an Aqua Duck. And then we can actually see Donald's butt on the funnel. There is a height requirement of 42 inches. And here's the rules as we are almost there. Oh, over the ship. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. Whoa. So cool. Look at it. There's the deck. <laughs> wow. That was so much dang fun. We found a pair of lounge chairs here on the pool deck and we're watching Moana. This was such a nice time getting to hang out out here and suntan and watch Moana, but it got a little too hot for us. It's very hot with the sun. So we're actually gonna go back over to Census Ball and enjoy the rainforest room. If it's not too crowded, I'm gonna try to take you guys in there to show you around. And away we go to the rainforest room. You do need a special key to enter. And here we are inside of the rainforest room. They do provide towels, lemon water, ice water, robes. You have an outdoor area, which is very nice. All kinds of different showers. You have tropical thunder, water fun, rainforest, a few steam and sauna rooms. I love these two. And then you have the cool mist experience, which is very nice. If you look up, there's stars all over. I'm inside one of the saunas and look at this view that you get. Unbelievable. What a view. It got a little too busy, so I went back to the man's locker room to show you what they have in here. You have a steam room, nice big shower, hair dryers, more showers that way. Here's your locker station. They have plenty of towels. And here we are inside of the fitness center. This is a very nice gym. You have water, fresh fruit, lemon water, ice water. The best part, cold towels more towels, wipes, plenty of equipment with a view. Wow, they have really good equipment. There's also free weights. We just had a really good workout about 45 minutes, but now we're heading to Cove Cafe for a coffee. What's going on, my man? <laughs> this is just one place on any Disney cruise ship that I just spend so much time in, which is Cove Cafe, just to get coffee and different drinks. Here's a look at what they have. They have Buffalo Trace. By the way, this is Christopher. He is an awesome bartender. He taught our whiskey class last night. One of the biggest reasons why I love Cove Cafe so much because Mr. Walt Disney is everywhere in here, which I appreciate so very much. Here's a few more. Walt and his wife. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's Captain Jack Sparrow on Bianca's coffee. That's like picture perfect, right? <laughs> Ooh. Christopher made me a special drink. This drink has no name. He just kind of created it. Let's taste it. This drink is delicious. Yeah, wow, this, this tastes really like oh, yeah. Christmas Day. These are very dangerous. If you're on the fantasy, come to Cove Cafe and come see Christopher. He will take care of you. Everybody will take care of you, but there's just something about Christopher's drinks 
Never had anything like them. Drink number two. This one also has no name. All right, Bianca loved this drink and she really does not drink alcohol. So that's saying a lot. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's like pog juice. Can't really taste the alcohol at all. So again, very dangerous. Yes. And kind of tastes like a, what's it called? Like an orange dream sickle. Yeah. Oh man, I'm in trouble. Drink number three, we have whiskey. Guys, we were in here for like two and a half hours, just talking, making friends, talking with Christopher and just enjoying these wonderful drinks. I have spent so much time in Cove Cafe and it's only day four. We still have so many more days. I will definitely be back. If you want drinks, if you want coffee, this is the place for you. Make sure when you're here, ask for a cafe card because if you buy five, your six is free. All right, I don't even remember what the last clip was, but we came back to the room. We took a very nice long nap and then we started to watch Pirates of the Caribbean because tonight is pirate night, hence the bandana. I mean, look how cool these are. Bianca is still getting ready. We're going to head up to deck 11 because there's a Mickey's Pirates of the Caribbean show. And then we have a pirate dinner at Royal Court, I believe. And then a special pirate dinner or like a buffet at Cabana's. And then Thor Love and Thunder is playing tonight. And then I think there's fireworks as well. It's gonna be a jam-packed night. We are very excited. Let's head up to deck 11. Oh, wow. Babe, do you hear it? Yes. They're playing Pirates of the Caribbean throughout the hallway. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a good night. We have made it back out to deck 11 and check it out. Everybody is dressed like a pirate. I have always wanted to experience pirate night on a Disney cruise ship and tonight is the night. <laughs>
That show was so much fun to watch. I was really hoping that Captain Jack Sparrow would show up at some point, but we got Captain Hook, we got Smee, we got Mickey and the gang. Wow, that was so much fun, but now it's time for dinner. A pirate's dinner. It's just about 8 p.m., so we decided to make a stop inside the Walt Disney Theater to watch a little bit of Thor Love and Thunder before dinner. We won't be able to watch it all, but we'll be able to come back at 11 p.m. because they will be showing it again. Ahoy! Before we start, I would like to make an observation, if you let me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay, so we got to watch about 10 minutes of Thor Love and Thunder, but we made it back inside of World Court for pirate dinner. To start tonight, we have cornbread and a mango dip and butter. I'm interested to see what this mango dip tastes like. This mango dip was really good with the cornbread, but our drinks just arrived. We both got iced tea, but Bianca got a special pirate cup for tonight. It's a skull with Captain Mickey, and it lights up. That's pretty cool. This was $8. Check out the pirate menu. This is awesome. For our appetizers, I got the marinated shrimp, and Bianca got the crab cake. The appetizers are really good, but our main entrees are here. Bianca got Jack's Treasure of the Sea, grilled shrimp, and seared scallops. That looks really good, actually. And I got the jerk chicken, which has been marinated for 48 hours. I also decided to get the stir fry, which is vegetarian, just because I was curious and my server was like, I'll just bring it to you and let you try it. So let's dig in and give them a try. It's dessert time. We have souffles for the fourth time on this cruise. Oh my goodness gracious. It's the weekend. Pirate Mickey and Minnie are out doing a meet and greet. And then up here, Peter Pan is out. Just made it back to our room and tonight's Tal animal, I think it's a squid or an octopus. <laughs> Don't really know, but you gotta love the towel animals. But yeah, we just made it back to our room, and I must say, Pirate Night Dinner was the best rotational restaurant we've had this far. I mean, everything was super good. That jerk chicken that was marinated for 48 hours, holy cow, I would get that again. It was really good. We've liked all the other restaurants, but this had the best menu, even though we haven't eaten at Animator's Palette just yet. That's going to be tomorrow. That was, we had that on night two, and we decided to have dinner at Palo, which you guys should see at some point. But now, we're back in the room, we're gonna hang out for about 10 minutes, and then go back up to deck 11, because we have fireworks tonight. <laughs> Those pirate fireworks were awesome. They were really cool to see, just seeing Disney fireworks out in the middle of the ocean on the Disney Fantasy. They just hit different. Um, I know in the beginning it was crazy because I had no clue where the fireworks were going to be shot from, what side of the ship. So at first we had a good spot for the stage show, but when the fireworks started, we did not have a good view, so we actually had to run around to the other side to get a decent shot, and I feel like we got a pretty good shot. Still really enjoyed them. They were short, but they were sweet. We had to run over to Cabana's because they are having a special pirate buffet 
It's 11 p.m. They just opened. This place is busy. They have turkey drumsticks. Look at this fruit artwork. We have pirates, pirates of the Caribbean. That is cool. Check out this pirate ship that's made out of bread. They have rice and beans and a glazed ham. Oh my goodness. And cornbread. You can make tacos and they have baked potatoes. They have some fun desserts. They have a pecan and banana chip slice, sweet potato pie, pistachio slice, a cherry chocolate cake. There's a big dance party happening on the pool deck right now. All right, my friends, we just made it back to the room. We are both exhausted. We have a super long fun day planned tomorrow in St. Thomas as we have a snorkeling excursion. We're going out to a shipwreck. Very excited about that, but there's really nothing else to be said. It was a another fantastic day here aboard the Disney Fantasy. I do have some footage from day two and day three at sea. I just took it off my phone, so there's not really a story to it, but whatever I have, I'm going to play it here at the end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all in YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. After a very good workout and a very relaxing morning inside of the Rainforest Room, we made a stop here at the Juice Bar, which is located right next to Census Spa, to get some protein shakes. Look at this place. I love that they have this. They also offer freshly squeezed orange juice and Bloody Mary's champagne, a little bit of everything. Ooh, I love this view. Beautiful. But we are heading up to deck 12 because we have a martini tasting. Yes. You excited? I'm really excited. I'm I am too. I'm curious to know what it's about. <laughs> yeah, let's go find out. We just left the martini tasting. It was awesome. It was worth the price. $45 per person. You have five different cocktails. They were smaller, but they came with a punch. Well, it's formal night yes. here on the Disney Fantasy. We were scheduled to have animators palette for dinner, but instead we made a Palo dinner. Yes, I'm so excited. we're dressed fancy. You look great. You do too, man. Well, thank you. Let's go to Palo. So Bianca got the iced tea and the ice cubes are made from tea. This is the best tea I've ever had. I may have to order one myself. That's impressive.
just made it back to our stateroom and tonight's towel animal we think is an octopus. We can't really tell, but how cool is this? It's just about 10 p.m. We're heading back down to deck three because I want a formal photo with Goofy and Mickey and then we're off the bed because we are both exhausted. Oh my goodness, look at Goofy and Pluto. What's going on Pluto and Goofy? Good to see you. I must say we all look pretty handsome this evening, yeah? Uh, thank you Goofy, it means a lot coming from you. You too Pluto. <laughs> Can we have a photo, yeah? We just left breakfast at Royal Court and there's characters everywhere. We have Captain Hook, Stitch, Mickey and Minnie, and then Princess Tiana. I just want to say the level of service that our stateroom host has given us. I mean, look at this. Our cords are wrapped and organized. Just having some dessert at the back of the ship here inside of Cabanas. I love how they have a little seating area out here. It's time to go play bingo finally, oh, finally. in the D lounge, deck four. Let's go. Yes, we finally made it on time here to bingo. It's going down. Here's the prices. You do have a few different options. This is the mega jackpot bingo, so the grand prize is. $3,000 apparently. This is a uh, interesting way to play bingo. So we have tablets. We have two tablets, 48 chances to win, $50 each. Let's see if we can get some of our money back. I don't know, you never know with bingo, right? You never know, let's have fun. I, 27, I, 27, Dang, I was so close. Bianca was close. Bianca was one away from $3,000. One away. Made a quick stop back inside Sweet On You to get some desserts before dinner. This is really good. I'm glad we made a stop. We just made it to our table. Tonight, we are dining at my favorite rotational restaurant on board, Enchanted Garden. We got a really good view. Look at this. Not Bianca's glasses. We just made it back to our stateroom and we think this is a cool bunny. Let me tell you guys, the whiskey tasting was worth it. I enjoyed every single minute. I got to try some good different whiskeys and I got a lot of really good knowledge as well. I am feeling lonely and I want to make it time to end the right. They need to slowly for those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me Am I reading something different from your eyes? See 